Hey, welcome everybody to the training today. And as you see here from the title, um, we are going to attempt to answer this question, which is a question I get many times a week. And I feel like I'd like to cover it in a little bit more detail than just a, a brief explanation, which is what I usually will give my clients. There's, there's a lot to this question, which is how much does it cost to have a website? Um, and maybe I should clarify that. I'm going to say not just a website, but I'm going to say a an e-commerce website, okay? Because that's that's really what Volusion is about, and what we're talking about here. So, how much does it cost to have an e-commerce website? What what are some of the costs that I should expect, and what are some of the optional costs? And and because uh, a lot, I know a lot of you guys are planning on having a website or may already have a website, and you're just wondering ongoing fees and startup fees. What can I expect to to run something like this? Well, I'm going to run through those today, and we're going to start number one with this one right here, a domain name. Um, a domain name, if you're not familiar with that term, is is just a, a way of saying your whatever your .com is. Okay, so this would be like your xyz.com, or you know, if you're in the the we'll, we'll say the uh, the bedding space, so you're, you're selling different types of bedding, sheets and comforters and, and bedding sets. You might be, you know, the bedding warehouse.com, right? Your your name, which is going to be very much tied to your brand and, and what people will know your website as. That's your domain name. Well, we have to register one of those and it's not free. Um, luckily, it doesn't have to be expensive. And, and in most cases, it really shouldn't be. Um, so what's the cost on a domain name? Probably around, if I if I had to give you kind of a, a reasonable, very conservative look, I would say per year, maybe 20, okay? Now you can get it cheaper than that, but I say 20 a year, um, which, which by the way, that's not much, right? We're talking a buck 50 a month or so, a couple of bucks a month max. And usually you'll pay up front, so you'll pay a, you know, a yearly fee or you'll, you'll pay it every couple of years and you can decide how you want to do that. Um, but people spend a lot more than this. So this is on the low side. You can get a really great domain name with privacy protection on it, 20 bucks a year or so. Um, or you could spend $20,000 to, to get a domain name, right? There's people who have registered domains um, that are really great where they're reselling those names for high prices and you guys don't need that. So yes, this, this is not going to be something that's optional. This is definitely mandatory, but on the low side and where most of you guys should be 20 bucks a year or a couple of bucks a month. Okay. That's number one. Number two, um, you have to have something called hosting. Now hosting would be similar to if you were to open up a little shop in a strip mall, or you open up a little restaurant in a strip mall, you would have to pay, you'd probably have a lease of some kind, right? So that you could have your little uh, restaurant in that strip mall. So you'd be paying whatever that lease is, right? And, and the crazy thing is, those are usually not cheap depending on where you are, you know, to have a little bit of space in a strip mall or even a, your own little um, standalone uh, store. If you had your own brick and mortar store standing alone, Right, there's some sort of cost to, to either owning that piece of property or to leasing that property from an owner. And in this day and age, it's not cheap. It could be, you know, thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars. So in the, in the website space, though, you pay something similar. For your site to be online, somebody has to host those files on a server somewhere and, and save that information to have it show up. Um, and I've I've had clients say, well, why do I need hosting? Well, if you don't have if you don't have hosting, your stuff doesn't show up, right? It's like buying a computer without a hard drive, which which wouldn't make a lot of sense because every single time you tried to save a file, you would have nowhere to save it to, right? So you wouldn't be able to. And that's the same thing with hosting. You have to have a hosting account so that your website can display on the internet, and all the files that go into making up the website. Which would include the pictures and the and the different web pages and all the information that makes up a site needs to be saved somewhere. Now, 
what's that fee going to be like? Well, because we use Volusion, you're looking at probably about 40 bucks per month. Now, can you get cheaper? You can. You, there's other there's other solutions out there that are cheaper. You could go through WordPress and do your own thing, or you could use one of these other e-commerce solutions that are out there. But I'm telling you, we have tested those out. We've used multiple ones over the years, and and this is what we endorse. We use Volusion, and and it is because we tested out a whole bunch of them years ago. We used to use one that was that was really just. The technology wasn't good. It was getting dated. And so we decided to go out there and try out all the e-commerce softwares. And we still do this. And we test this every once in a while to see if, you know, if, if anybody's gotten better technology or is better for our clients. And, and there's not anybody. You've got to go through Volusion if you want to do a good e-commerce dropship site with us. And you can plan on about 40 bucks a month. Now, you see advertising all the time online for hosting for you know have your own website for 2 bucks a month or whatever and that's the hosting fee. Well, that's because those websites are usually very simple um maybe just very simple informational sites, don't have a lot of pages, certainly don't have a really robust e-commerce shopping cart um the same way Volusion does. So it's like you know, if you're going to go buy a car, you can buy a Ford Taurus or you can buy you know a Mercedes. Um I'll, I'll drive the Mercedes if given the option, right? And in this case, Volusion would be the Mercedes, and it just does things better. So if you don't have any experience in the web development or web web building space, and you're doing this for the same time, um, you're going to get your hosting through Volusion. And uh, our our staff handles the billing for that. So when you're ready to set up your hosting account, talk to your coach, who will then get you in touch with our staff, and we'll get that set up. The good news is. Usually you don't pay this right off the bat. Most of you guys have anywhere from, you know, two to six months of free hosting on, on your Volusion. And, and talk to your coach about what you have. Usually that was um, agreed upon in your initial contract when you got into the training program. So anywhere between two and six months, um, sometimes more, but most of the time it's, it's um, you know, right between those numbers. And we do that, guys. We pay for this. So literally – we are paying your $40 a month for you and we're doing that so that the website can get up and going and hopefully just be paying for itself, you know, after the fact, after you, after we get it all set up. Okay. And that hosting needs to be set up before any of the next step can happen, which is how much is it going to cost me to design my website? Right now, this could be paid or free. Okay. I want to make sure that's very clear. I'm going to underline that paid or free. Now it's never it's never free, right? It's always going to either cost you money or time. The good news is all of you guys who get into our program, our coaching program, have already paid for our services to consult you and teach you how to design your own website. And we can do that. And and we're more than happy to do that. So if you don't have the funds to pay for one, and you're 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 on kind of a tighter budget then work individually with your coach and and they will help you get your website built now they're not going to do it for you that's certainly not the point but they're going to teach you and train you so you can get it designed yourself and really while it might sound uh, complicated if you've never done anything like this before building a website has never been easier the technology is way better you don't have to be some kind of a computer expert or computer program to, programmer to do it. You can absolutely do it yourself, um, and a lot of our clients do. Now, that's easier for some than others, right? Some of our clients pick up on that and, and get it and do it, and it's not a big deal, and others struggle with it a little bit. So you have the paid option, and you can get a website done and designed for you um, for a cost. And I think usually I want to say it starts around a couple thousand dollars. So it's not cheap, but in, in almost all cases, guys, it is worth it to get somebody to design it for you. It's just better. It's it, it, a, it gets done faster. B, it gets done better because you're having actual professionals who know color schemes and conversion rates and logo design and just overall good website design. They know how to put together something that that is ultimately going to convert at a high level and what i mean by that is when you bring visitors to your site 
you want a high percentage of those to, to order something before leaving your site, right? It's the same with if you own a little retail, retail store. You want a high percentage of people who walk through that door to leave with something in their hands. And um, in order to do that, you have to refine and, and improve your conversion rate. And that's what a lot of our designers do. So we don't farm that work out. We don't uh, send that overseas like I think a lot of companies do. We have a design department here in our office that handles all of that work. So I'm not here to sell that service to you or put any pressure for you to do that. I mean, that's, that's entirely up to you. Um, you know, you paid for us to help you whether you want to invest a little more money in getting uh, you know, your site designed and designed well, or if you want to have a little bit of a steeper learning curve and work with us just to help you get it done on your own. Um, I will always tell you to get it designed by a professional every single time, if you can afford it. Um, but if, if money's tight, then, you know, then let's work together and just do it for free together, okay? <laughs> So that's that's the design element. If you want more information about uh, purchasing design options from our staff, um, get in touch with your coach and he can get you in touch with somebody and then you guys can go over that together, okay? So I'm just gonna say for this uh, free, well paid, I should probably put in parentheses, um, starting at, I don't know, 2000 maybe something like that. It's not cheap. Design services are definitely not cheap, um, but they're worth it. Okay. Um, last but not least, I want you to think with me for just a minute where we are in this, in the, in our steps, right? We've got a name, we've got a hosting provider, our website's been built and set up, right? Well, I guess the last piece of this is you've got it all set up. You're ready to do business. Uh, but you don't have anybody coming to your site. So you have to do something with marketing, okay? Marketing and advertising. How are we going to get visitors to our store is the question you have to ask yourself. Because just, uh, you got to understand these days, especially just because you have a website does not mean people are going to find it. And we brought in countless numbers of clients into our program over the years who have, have come to us because they've had a website before and they haven't been able to get visitors to it. And, and really great websites too. One of my clients right now has a really nicely done website with just tremendous content. You can tell a lot of thought and energy and effort's been put into it, um, but nobody, nobody knows about it or very few people know about it outside of like their friends and family. So the question is, okay, I, I need marketing and I need advertising. Is that is that something I can do myself, or is that something I can I can or I need to pay um, I need to pay for? And and the answer is a lot like number three. It's uh, paid and or free. Okay, you can do advertising without without it costing you money. And and again, I'm going to say part of our coaching services with your coach and with our program is to teach you and train you on strategies that you can use that will drive traffic to your site that won't cost you anything other than your time. And I, I would maintain, and I think most of you guys would agree with me, that your time is, is valuable and it's, it's a real asset to you. We only get 24 hours in a day. You know, six or seven of those are, are used for rest and downtime. You know, and, and you look at what's left over and you've got to fit in your family and maybe your normal job and you've got to fit in time to eat and you've got to fit in, um, you know, this and that and some of the other things that you're involved in. <clears throat> you don't have all the time in the world just to do your own marketing and I understand that, but it doesn't necessarily have to take all the time in the world. And so you're going to find that <clears throat> whether you want to pay for some or not, our coaching program has free options where your coach can teach you things that you can do, strategies that you can do on a weekly basis, and not that it has to dominate your entire week, but it's stuff you can do to get visitors to your site. Okay? Um, so there's that option. There's a free option. There are paid options, too. We have a marketing department here in our office, and again, this is not outsourced. We have a marketing department here who handles a lot of marketing. Um, we do it a little bit differently, though. So we don't do marketing and advertising like a lot of companies do 
that are in sort of like the web the web marketing space. A lot of companies in that space will charge you a recurring monthly fee. Um, my father-in-law recently, uh, that really wasn't recently, it was a few years ago, uh, but he approached me and he, he has a, he has an insurance business and he's, he's looking to promote it and market it. He's got a website that's just not getting a lot of traffic. And so he got bids from various marketing companies that, that specialize in web marketing. And most of them were like, okay, anywhere from, you know, 1500 a month to like $20,000 a month. And of course the services under, under each, you know, were different but it was per month. So it wasn't going to be something he paid and then was just done with. They were going to, they were going to do things on a regular basis and that was going to be a regular monthly cost for him. And of course, luckily I'm his son-in-law and I was able to direct him a little bit and, and get him some better options to where he wasn't paying an arm and a leg. Um, and even just taught him a lot of things myself that he could save his time with, which likely you guys will get here from your coach. Um, so there's, there's, that kind of an approach, but but there's a different approach for paid advertising, and that's what we do here. We don't do any recurring paid advertising. We have a marketing department that will jumpstart your business with kind of a one a one um, a one time fee of some sort, and and you'll need to talk to them about that. I'm not here to to sell you that service or tell you that's something that you should get. If you've got the budget for it. And you can pay to get your, your site designed and you feel comfortable paying to get some marketing, then that's what I would do. I'd pay our marketing department to jumpstart your business. But well, the thing about that is, though, it'll, it'll save you a ton of time, but it's not going to change the fact that you still need to be taught to learn and maintain your own marketing. They'll jumpstart a bunch of things and they'll get your site into search engines and submit your site and, and uh, do some competitive research and all, and all kinds of different things. But at the end of the day, you still have to be able to maintain and manage that. Now, that's why most marketing companies have kind of a monthly recurring fee because there's a certain amount of maintenance and management work that needs to take place there. Um, so suffice it to say, guys, when it gets to marketing, you, you can spend a lot of money and invest a lot of money or you can do it on the cheap. And, and I think you should have a, a good, honest discussion with your coach about it and decide what you want to pay for that and if you want to pay. Um, if you have some budget, I think you should, because I think there's value in it. And especially when it comes to marketing, like you think about marketing, it's like, well, I invest $3,000 and the hope is that I get enough sales and profits back that I made, uh, you know, $3,500 in return, right? So I paid off my initial investment and was left with $500. If that were the case and I could make $500 like that every single time I invested $3,000 into my marketing, I would do that all day and all night, right? So, but again, if you're in that boat where you're just like, I'm on such a tight budget, I can't do that. Well, then then don't. Work with your coach. You guys can do some free strategies to get you to get marketing happening on your site. And you know what? And that and that's fine. I I mean, I've certainly done some of that with my own with my own companies, especially early when I couldn't afford any advertising. I just had to do the free stuff, but the free stuff works too. It just takes longer, and that's and that's the main point. Do you want to speed things up? Then pay for some marketing. You don't mind waiting? Then then do some yourself. But that that's the trade off, and that's the cost. So to the initial question, um, how much does it cost to to have a to have a website, an e-commerce website, a good one? Well, at a minimum, a little over forty bucks a month if you count your hosting and domain name. If you do the design yourself, that can be free. You can do the advertising yourself, that can be free. So you can literally do this on a budget. Or if you want to speed things up and get things done done really well and and right, um, you can pay for some design and marketing. And and it's still going to only cost you a little over forty bucks a month to maintain it, but there might be some bigger initial setup fees there of several thousand dollars for your design and your marketing. Um, that's your guys' choice. And again. I'm not going to put pressure on you one way or the other. You need to have that conversation with your coach and decide exactly what you want to do. Um, if you're not doing an e-commerce website and you're doing more of an, uh, an affiliate type of setup, um, these costs are going to be a lot lower. And, and I'll let you talk to your coach about that. It's kind of beyond the scope of what we want to talk about today. 
because today is about e-commerce. But if you're kind of in the more of the affiliate marketing, link posting, banner advertising space, you can usually do this a lot more expensively, or I'm sorry, inexpensively. Um, at least from a, a hosting standpoint, because because hosting for those kind of sites is is usually really inexpensive, a couple of bucks a month maybe. Um, that's where you would say, but you still have to get something designed and you still have to, uh, still have to market your business, right? You're crazy if you're not advertising and that should be a big part of it. So, okay. Well guys, that's it. I, I feel like that's a, a pretty good summary of, of costs that you can expect if you're going to, if you're going to run your own website and if none of this looks appealing to you, you can always sell on eBay or on Amazon. Um, you don't necessarily have to have your own site, but we really think you should, and you'd be missing out on a big opportunity if you didn't. So anyway, hopefully this was helpful, and we will see all of you guys next time. Thanks for coming along.